we continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon to the bottom of the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese! Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. In this episode, we are starting our very first uh, paddy wagon level. And anyways, um, as you're driving, uh, and also it's very simple controls, you just hold A and uh, uh, B to brake, control stick to steer. It's just your average, everyday uh, driving controls. But anyways, yes, uh, you can pick up these nitros along the way, and if you press R, you can uh, boost. So, anyways, yes, this, we are driving basically around Bikini Bomb, and we are uh, basically leaving to start our journey to get the crown back for King Neptune. Anyways, this shortcut right here will get you your first treasure chest of three in this whole level. So, yes, uh, be sure to pick them up. Uh, try pick up all of them if you can this first run, because, uh, spoiler, this is not the only time you'll be making a run through this level. In fact, there are three other challenges you can do here. And this will apply to every single paddy wagon level in the entire game. And they are, and they are the exact same challenges every single time. Um, we'll be getting into those as soon as we're done with this level because uh, the thing is, after you get after you complete your main objective here, which also gets you a Goofy Cooper token, it will advance you on to the next level. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to come back to this level to take on those other challenges. I'm going to do that with every single paddy wagon level before advancing the story because that's just how I play the game. Um, I'm going to take the right this time. Since we're going to be doing multiple runs this level, I prefer to take the longer path the first time because you can do that most time when you're uh, running through a level the first time, you can take all the time you need. Um, we still got about, about a couple hundred more uh, manliness points until we can have our next upgrade. 146 it looks like. But yes, uh, we got two of the treasure chests so far, I do believe. Um, third one is also in this shortcut right here. So basically, whenever a hole opens on a building, it's, there's a good chance it's, it has a shortcut with a treasure chest that it leads to. So there you go. And that is all three of the treasure chests in this first uh, paddy wagon level. Um, I can't remember offhand how many paddy wagon levels there are. I'm going to go ahead and flash on screen here just to indicate that. But yes, basically, um, it's good to save up your nitros and just kind of... I mean, again, you're not really rushing this first run through, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you don't necessarily need to use them. Again, I just like to take my time and collect as many of the manliness points along the way as possible. Um, there's not really much else to say about these levels. Um, let's just say that uh, you may notice there's a lot of construction and destruction going on in Bikini Bottom. Um, that's going to be very, very important to the story, especially later on. And uh, let's just say that this is actually not the only time you'll be racing this course, by the way. Just like point that out. So keep this course in mind, because it's going to be very important later. And here we are. We're at the end. We win. You've reached the edge of town, and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving Yes. Challenge. Thank you very much. We're going to be doing that actually right away before moving on to the next level. Of course, it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to advance the story anyways, so I guess we'll just do that first. With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. 
they should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. And that brings us, brings us to the next level of the game, 3,000 miles to Shell City. It is another platforming level, and you'll be playing as SpongeBob in this one. You also get a new ability uh, right off the bat. Um, so we're going to earn that before we get to go back to the uh, Sandwich Drive 101. Plankton is using those radio towers to broadcast his evil messages across the sea. SpongeBob, you'll have to find a way to shut those towers down. And so that is our main objective of 3,000 miles to Shell City, destroying the radio towers. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. So basically, from this point on, every single platforming level is going to start off this way. You're going to have uh, Mindy basically telling you your main objective of the level, and then she's going to give you a move if you have the correct amount of Goofy Goober tokens. Um, I was never able to find out exactly how many Goofy Goober tokens you need in order to unlock every single item. The only way to do that is by not having enough when you get there. Um, but I just don't really worry about that. Um, as long as you're following this playthrough, you will always have enough Goofy Goober tokens to get your new abilities. So anyways, let's learn the bash move. Now I am the master. Press Y and you can hit things directly above you. Alright. Wow! Thanks, Mindy! Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Indeed we will, SpongeBob. Indeed we will. In the next episode, for now, we're going back to Sandwich Driving 101. As you can see, we have all three of the treasure chests there, but we have three more challenges. The first one is a time challenge. Oh boy. Let's go. So we gotta warp to level, and then the game's gonna ask you, warp to level, then you say yes, and then it says, are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? And then you say yes already, and then it says, alright, you asked for it. <laughs> I always thought that was really funny. I think it does the exact same thing in Battle for Key Bomb too. You have to hit A like three times in order for the game to warp you there. It always wants to make sure that you're ready to go there. So yes. Do you want to try a time challenge? Yes, we would, Mindy, because we need all the Goofy Goober tokens we can get along this journey. All done, be exact, considering this is a 100% playthrough. I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Alright, that was a pretty funny joke. Alright, let's move on. You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you. With the Gooby Cooper token be exact. So anyways, here we are. This is our first time challenge. We have four minutes to get to the end of Bikini Bomb. That is a very it's a very easy time challenge. You don't even need the nitros to do this. But you know what? Just the back of it, we'll use them. Because we want to get the best possible time that there is. And we just got our next upgrade. Um, I would like to I would like to stress that it is important that you upgrade the Sponge Bash as soon as you get it. Um, I'm going to be waiting until we actually start the level to upgrade it. Because I want to show you guys what the move looks like before you upgrade it. It's nothing special. It actually looks exactly like it did in that... Uh, you know, in that preview when it when when Mindy's granting you the ability, you know, SpongeBob just randomly makes a a, a a boxing glove appear out of nowhere and he hits the thing above him. Um, but I'm gonna be at least showing it to you guys once before you upgrade. But once you upgrade it, it has a much more use to it. And in fact, it's actually gonna be important for something in the level. Um, not necessarily for getting a Goofy Goober token, but it's gonna make uh, it's gonna allow you to get something that you would normally have to backtrack in order to get get uh, because most of the time you're not if if you're upgrading something else besides the Sponge Bash, I mean, then you're not likely going to get um, that thing I'm talking about, which I can't be too specific, specific about because I don't want I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so yeah, so what's funny is that on the left side of this tunnel, you'll run into a police car and then a regular uh, citizen car, um, or an elderly citizen next. Um, you may have noticed that when I took the right path, um, when we originally when we did the original challenge. Uh, we ran to the old elder citizen, and then the police car after that. Um, so I guess you'll never see the the regular path going through here because obviously, if you're gonna do a, if you're doing, 
a time trial, you're going to want to take every single shortcut you possibly can. That's my recommendation for every single, uh, you know, paddy wagon level, you know, when you're doing this. Um, we're going to go right here so we get these uh, mailings points. Because again, upgrades, those are very important. So, uh, anyways, how are you guys doing? Today is January 12th, 2017, is, or 13th actually, I think. Because yeah, I'm actually recording this on the day you guys are getting this. So if this, up, so if this episode comes up uh, a little a little after noon, I apologize about that. Noon Pacific time, that is. Um, but anyways, I'm very, mo very much looking forward to tonight because I'm actually going to be watching um, the Nintendo's... Nintendo's uh, Switch presentation. I'm very excited to see that. I'm gonna be watching that live with my fr with my best friend. So hopefully you guys will be watching too if you are Nintendo fans out there, because I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who are both SpongeBob and Nintendo fans, because that definitely describes me. Look at this. We still had a minute and like what, 11 seconds left to spare? Yeah, and we still made the time challenge. There we go. You've won the time challenge. Here's your reward. Now I have a real challenge for you. As if the last one wasn't well, actually, yeah, that one really wasn't a real challenge to be honest. I mean, let's not let's not kid ourselves here. Mindy, we're ready. What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. 68 rings to be exact actually. Yes. I am that crazy guys. I literally counted how many rings are in every single paddy wagon level. And in this one there's 68. So you have to make it through 68 rings in a row. You cannot miss a single one and also there's a time limit for every single ring. I don't remember I don't know what that one is, but I can definitely tell you that if you just keep keep on moving the whole time you'll you'll likely make it through every single ring um, but that's really all there is to it but these challenges honestly sometimes I find them even more difficult than the time challenges because uh, well actually um, obviously it's gonna be easier than the time challenges because well uh, well it's gonna be harder than the time challenges because the time challenges are really easy actually but yeah it's mainly the ring challenges that I find more difficult than anything else, although there are some exceptions that will be against that as we get later in the game. I guess the only part that you might have trouble with is this part, because if you even just so much as touch the grass, you will slide a little bit, and that could mean the difference between you missing a ring and actually getting through it. Um, every single time you go through a ring, it's going to make a sound. Um, interestingly enough, it does not make that sound the last... Like, like it... Like, um, what you may not realize is that it's actually making a sound as the ring is appearing, not necessarily as one is disappearing. That's kind of what the point of it is. Anyways, you have to go through a left tunnel here every single time on this ring challenge. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much to say about this first one. It's very simple. As long as you follow the routes taking you through. And usually, the funny thing is, the rings are actually some... Sometimes they are actually the way that can they can tell you um, how to... Like, sometimes the rings will show you paths that you didn't even know about. That, that, can, that can actually happen sometimes on missions. And it's very helpful too because you're kind of gonna need to take every single shortcut you possibly can in the in the last challenge of every single paddy wagon level. You know, the aim to that as soon as we get into the challenge, although probably after this ring challenge, in fact, actually, I'm very sure of it. Um, we're actually gonna be ending off this episode here because we're already up to like about 15 minutes here. The only way I'll be able to get this up even close to noon is if I upload this immediately afterwards. So, got to you know, get to finishing this ring challenge and whatnot. So, uh, earn that, yeah, I don't really have anything else going on today. This is, this is pretty much the middle of my weekend at work, so I'm very very happy about that. I'm very much enjoying my weekend, as I always do. I'm enjoying it, recording stuff for you guys, because that's what I do on weekends. I do a lot of recording for you guys. I play a lot of Banjo 2 because that's what I've been playing lately on the side. And uh, I've also been playing a, a Metroid game, a Metroid game that I'm planning on Let's Playing uh, this year, actually. And it's the first Metroid game I'm going to be doing that's not blind, so if there just so happens to be any Metroid fans out there who enjoy my Prime Trilogy, or, well, so far I am enjoying it because I'm not, still not done with Prime 3 quite yet, I'm still in the middle of it right now, but, you know, if, it, if any of you guys out there who watch my Metroid LPs enjoyed them, then definitely watch, then I hope you're looking forward to this one. 
But there we go, we won. You've beaten the ring challenge. <laughs> Since you beat the other challenges so easily, I have a tough one for you. Yes, indeed, Mindy does. Mindy has a very tough challenge waiting for us next time on Let's Play Spon the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. See you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Join me next time for the final challenge of Sandwich Driving 101, and then probably the first half of 3,000 Miles of Shell City. Thank you so much.